Welcome to Byte Further. Today's video is about how to fix iPhone 10 touch screen not working. Recently, some users find iPhone 10 touch screen not responding to touch randomly. iPhone X touch screen won't work when they swipe, touch, and tap on the display at all. It seems like there is a lag or a delay before the touch interacts and the screen responds. They even can't unlock it because the keyboard doesn't register when typing numbers. Sometimes, the iPhone 10 touch screen becomes unresponsive in some areas, like the top, the bottom, the left, or the right. I know it's annoying, so we're here to help you out. This video will be divided into three parts. Does iPhone 10 have touch disease? Why is iPhone X screen not responding to touch? How to fix an unresponsive touch screen on iPhone 10? Part 1. Does iPhone 10 have touch disease? Yes. Actually, Apple has admitted that some users might experience iPhone 10 with touch screen problems because one component under the display might fail to work. Maybe your iPhone 10 touch screen has become completely unresponsive, perhaps part of the display or doesn't work sometimes. Or, you see iPhone 10 touch screen moving itself, like a ghost touch. Whatever the case is, Apple promises to fix and replace the unresponsive screen on iPhone 10 for free. Just go through the link below to learn more details. Part 2 is why iPhone 10 screen is not responding to touch. If your iPhone 10 touch screen won't respond after long-term usage, there might be other reasons behind the issue. First, the system glitch. The operating system is easy to crash, resulting in the touch screen not responding to any touch and just stuck. Second, failed update. Yes, a bad update can also prevent the screen from responding correctly sometimes. Third, hardware damage. If your iPhone 10 touch screen is not working after drop, water, or screen replacement, the display component might get broken. Part 3, how to fix iPhone 10 unresponsive touch screen. This part will show four solutions to fix the software-related touchscreen problems. For hardware issues, your only trick is to go to Apple for help. Now, let's see what to do when iPhone X touchscreen stops working. The first method is to force restart iPhone X. This step is always the first thing to do when your iPhone X touchscreen is not responding to touch and becomes frozen. You just need to press some buttons in the right order to force shut down your iPhone X and then let it reboot. Best of all, it won't delete your phone content to fix an unresponsive touch screen. Here's exactly how to do that. Quickly press the volume up button then let it go. Quickly press the volume down button then let it go. Then, press the side button on the right side. Keep holding the button for a while. You'll see the unresponsive screen turning black and the phone shuts down. Continue pressing the side button until the screen lights up and shows the Apple logo. Let go of the button and wait for your iPhone 10 to boot up to the lock screen. Now, there is it. You should now enter the passcode to unlock the phone, and then, your iPhone 10 touch screen works again and all your data are still there. The second method is to remove the screen protector. If you've put a screen protector on your iPhone 10, remove it gently. Also, remove the phone case, then, use a clean, dried, and soft cloth to lightly wipe clean the dirt on the screen. The third method is to update iPhone 10 software. Refreshing the iOS software is also helpful to fix iPhone 10 unresponsive touch screen problem without data loss. Especially if you see iPhone 10 touch screen unresponsive sometimes just after updating the iOS software, the update doesn't go well or there are some bugs there. If you suspect that this causes screen not working problem on your iPhone 10, just do the following steps to update your device. Here we'll put your iPhone 10 into recovery mode and then use your computer to update the iOS. Rest assured that this is another Apple official way to update an iPhone 10 and it's safe and won't delete anything from your phone. Okay first, plug your iPhone 10 into a laptop or desktop computer. Both Windows and Mac OS computer is okay. Then, run iTunes or Finder on the computer. What we need to do next is to put your iPhone 10 into recovery mode. This is easy. Quickly press the volume up button then let it go. Quickly press the volume down button then let it go. Then, press the side button on the right side and keep holding. You can try a few times if you can't do it right at once. Okay, let's do it. Quickly press the volume up button then let it go. Quickly press the volume down button then let it go. Then. Press the side button on the right side and keep holding. You'll need to hold down the side button even when the phone shuts down and shows up Apple logo screen. Just go on holding the button until you see a connect to computer screen. 
release the button and that's exactly the recovery mode screen. Okay, go back to your computer and you should see a message popping up. If you can't see this, click your iPhone icon appearing on iTunes or Finder on the left side then it'll show up later. From the two options, click the update button, then, it'll guide you through finishing the following steps. Next, it'll download the latest version of iOS software and install it into your iPhone 10 to fix the unresponsive touch screen. This may take some time to complete, around 3 to 4 hours, but it's worth it as most users claim that this does help get the frozen screen back to working order. Now, your iPhone 10 restarts. Unlock it and the screen gets back working. Yeah, the fourth method is to factory reset iPhone 10. Before you go to Apple for examination, this is your final solution to fix iPhone X touch screen issues. Why say that? Because it'll wipe clean your device. Your data and content, the settings, and the iOS software all will be deleted forever. Then, a completely new iOS software will be installed on your unresponsive iPhone 10, and you'll need to set it up from scratch. Of course, if you've backed up the data in iCloud or computer before, you can get data back from the backup during setting up. Now, let's start. We're going to use the computer to factory reset your iPhone 10. so open iTunes or Finder first on your computer. Next, attach your device to the computer. After that, put your iPhone 10 into recovery mode again, press then release the volume up button, the volume down button, and keep holding the side button. You'll need to keep pressing the button unless you see the recovery mode screen, just like this one. Okay, go back to your computer. Now, a message will pop up. If you can't see this, click your iPhone icon appearing on iTunes or Finder on the left side then it'll show up later, from the two options. Click the restore button, then, it'll guide you through finishing the following steps and then bring your iPhone 10 back to factory defaults. After that, your iPhone 10 will go back to the hello screen and can respond to your touch now. If you need to restore data from backups, we've put a link to show you how to do that in the description below. That's all how to fix iPhone 10 touch screen not working. Hope this video can help get the unresponsive screen to work again. If it does, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.